Now, a story you definitely want to watch. And the COP27 conference in Shal M. Sheikh in Egypt has drawn delegates from different parts of the world. For some, like Jennifer Kibon from Baringo, this was the first time for her to travel out of the country. Kibon, who for the better part of her life was confined to her Tangul Bay area of Baringo, was excited to explore a world she didn't know existed as she joined her rather other delegates in Egypt. Here is her story. Kwa majina naitwa Jennifer Kibon kutoka Baringo sehemu za Tangle Bay. Ninaona ndeke nafikiria ni kitu kidogo na kumbe ni kubwa. <laughs> Alafu tena hakuna siku ningafikiria na keti ndeke na watu wengine. Aki sikujua ndeke kila mtu anaweza panda. Siku kwa natarajia kwamba naweza keti ndeke na wale wamesoma. Mimi sijasoma lakini sasa kwa vile hivi ni ujisa kwangu kwa Mungu kwa sababu ya kukuja inji kama hii na nikaona pia kumbe hata inji sio lazima tutegemee mifuko au tutegemee kwa sababu sijaona mifuko yoyote na sijaona mashamba lakini watu wanaishi na ninaona kwamba inategemea vile inji hii alipotukua action katika inji yao na wakaketi pamoja na wakasulisha siada zao sijawahi fikiria kama naisepotana na watu wengine jamii nyingine asa jamii sasa nili nafikiria tu nitakaa kijiji najua tu ile kapila langu peke yangu lakini wakati nimekuja mahali kama hapa nikakutana na jamii mbalimbali mbali. kutoka bara la Asia wengine nasema natoka Egypt wengine nasema natoka Congo nikaona watu tofauti tofauti asa watu ya Egypt sikujua ni watu aina gani kwa nafikiria ni watu wa uzi wa nono kwa ni kama sisi tu Nina, nina wakilisha wale wa mama wa chini ambapo angeweza kufika hapa kwa sababu ya hii mambo ya climate change ninasema nikikuja hapa labda tukishikana pamoja na kuleta mawasa yetu pamoja tutaweza kusuluhisha hii tatizo ya climate change tukiwa pamoja maana imedhaadhiri sana huko mashinani hasa mama ya mboga mwenye nausa mboga hiyo mboga yake ilienda na iliisha kwa sababu ya climate change tumepoteza mifuko ya pili tukapoteza mashamba ile tungetekemea kama kutaka uchumi ya tatu hata bei ya vitu atu atu asasis atupate hata hatuna uwezo wa kununua she is a pastoralist from uh, Kenya right can, can you tell me how you and your community were being affected vile tuna affectiwa na mambo ya yeah, climate ni tofauti na wenye wako na mali because how they are affected by climate change is different from those who are wealthy. Who are wako na mali? The person with wealth. Ah, uh, tunasema wanaasa kunyanyasa wenye hawana. They are ndio ndio unapatikana wale watoto wanao watoto ya wenye hawana mali. Experiences that we have is that um, women are used to... kiti ya kwanza ndaambia huko Egypt si kama vile tunaona kwa Biblia. Tunaona hakuna miti ni area changwa lakini wana, wanaishi wako na ngufu wako na vitu mingi wamejaribu ku, kutengeneza vitu ile inapatikana hapo na kuchonga na kuuza alafu tena ninaambia watu kukaa pamoja wale walikuja kwa sauti moja sasa watu walikuwa kila mtu anataka sauti yake ilikuwa nasikika kwa mali moja kwamba tupate kupata hii babadiliko ya tabia nchi ili tusuluhishe tukiwa pamoja 